So my name is Brandon Toll. Um, kind of my motto in life is to help people be better today than they were yesterday and give them a game plan to be better tomorrow than they are today. And kind of my uh, boundaries, if you will, will, if you're talking like a bowling alley, kind of my bumpers in life as to if I'm learning, loving, or leaving a legacy that I want to leave, then I know exactly where I'm at. So many, many years ago, uh, this man over here, that's, that's not a family picture other than my wife and my, my firstborn child. That's Alan and Joyce Stroud. Uh, they took me under their wing and, and basically just lived life with me. They, every time I got off work, he was taking me to go disc golfing, um, taking me out to dinner, and just spending time with me. This was in San Antonio, and uh, I'm from Florida, Tampa, Florida, so I was away from all my family. So if you invest in your network, your network will in turn invest in you. And he was doing that before I even knew what he was doing. Um, and later, as I moved away from there, moved to Wichita in 2010, then I realized what he was doing. And this Goober to the left, this is Michael Irby, and to the right, this is Lacey uh, Cratcher, soon to be Irby, as you can see in their wedding, uh, that they asked me to be a part of. Uh, Mike and I were in school together, and he wasn't doing very well, so I helped him. And then I was deployed with his wife, and uh, you know, six months away from people you don't know, you, you start to make that family bond. Someone actually uh, didn't show for their wedding in time, so we drove and got to be a part of it. Um, to the left of one, uh, in the middle here, this one is uh, Lonnie Tibbles. Uh, when I met her, she had 21 years in the military and didn't know what to do. And she had uh, multiple, multiple thousand dollars in debt and was looking to get out of the military. So uh, this is uh, at her retirement ceremony, which she asked me to uh, put together. And uh, she is now retired, and she lives in Salt Lake, Utah, with $25,000 in the bank, no debt at all. And uh, I just got to be a part of that. And this uh, fine gentleman here is uh, Kevin Faulting. You guys all know him. And as you can know, he does great things, and that's what he's doing. He's getting an award um, and making senior airmen. And I had the privilege of being his instructor, and this is his goal sheet. Uh, he told me as I invest, you know, talked to him. He said, uh, I want to own and be familiar with the laser class sailboat and racing rules. And when I checked up on him, he had bought his own laser class sailboat and drove it, or, or sailed it, driving, same thing, right? Um, Brian Kelly is the head coach at Notre Dame football. And uh, as you guys know, they have good football players, but they have better, they have better scholars, right? Uh, you don't just get into Notre Dame. Um, so... For them to win, they have to you know, culture beat scheme. You can't just play a 3-4. You can't just play a pro style and beat people. You have to have the culture. So this is kind of, you got to realize you got to take care of your one of ones, right? Anyone can do the job. Anyone can be a crew chief, as Kevin is. Anyone can fix medical equipment or you name it where you're at. But only one person can be. Only one Kevin Faulting can be Kevin Faulting. Only one Brandon can be a Brandon. So, you know, culture beat schemes meet people where they're at and learn them so they can be the best them as possible. Long, long thing here that you can't read now that I realize that, but <laughs> science has proven that you can live approximately 72 hours without water, around seven or three weeks without food, but spiritually we have proven only a few moments without hope. Um, being in the military, um, suicide is a real huge thing, um, which hits even harder when I, my passion is people. Um, how do you take care of people? You take care of the one-to-one, -one, you take care of them where they're at, and you realize that they have to have hope in something. That's the only thing that keeps them alive uh, to fight for. So I'm not asking you to take care of a 1,000 people. I'm asking you to take care of your capacity. If you have a capacity for 12, fill it up. Take care of 12 people. If you have capacity for three, take care of three. Um, I'm a people person, so I try to learn as much as I can about everybody, and it doesn't matter. I don't need to be in the front. Uh, to make you successful, to make you better tomorrow, uh, that's what it's about. You get your glory and you get your spotlight. I get to just say, I, you know, be in the back knowing I helped you. Um, these are my kids and my wife. Uh, 11 years we've been married. I got three-year-old Everett and a soon-to-be two-year-old Ramsey. Um, some things you just got to remember is some of the biggest things you contribute to this world or to Wichita might not be you or something you produce uh, as a product. It might be the people you invest in. That might be, you know, your biggest investment to Wichita the world. So uh, that's all I have for you. Thank you.